Oh man, it took me way too long to perfectly align this to the music and uh, you see the results. Perfect! So, right guys, um, how journey that has been. Last upload was I think in 2018 and now we're here. Uh, today I'm showing you the 2020, sorry, the 2010 to 2012 GP3 Seasons 4 Automobilista by Dot Race 9 Modding in version 0.98.5 that sounds a little bit off but here we are um racing in the 2012 season as you can see in this beautiful ocean racing technology car team run by tiago montero but anyways yeah why back into youtube quick run um everybody's sitting at home so do i and then i realized okay got some time uh, to spend and perhaps i could get back into youtube and stuff and so let's jump straight back into the action as you can see beautiful scenery here at the Hockenheiming and straight into the grid of course starting at last last to first challenge confirmed oh hello that's a good start nearly ran into that trident there and now up the inside of Kamen Khoda how very funny I guess and oh wow that's that's quite a hit holy how did we hang on on this wow I'm, I'm surprised that it didn't give us any damage okay now carefully into turn two as I oh wow tried and spinning there that was close as well with the front wing it's still attached though it doesn't even show any damage um, right into the slipstream of Carmen Khoda and now trying to bump draft her into her back <coughs> excuse me Sorry, Carmen Horda fans, if there even exist any. Now carefully into the hairpin. Let's see if you can make it crash free. Looking good so far, turning in. Everyone's running right. Oh, that's a Jensen gone. See you, very, see you, man. Thank you very much for your position as well. And uh, now up the Mercedes Arena, just ahead. Three wide back behind. Holy, that's that's scary. Oh, lock it up. Wow, car's very slow there. And that's Daniel Abt and Fabiano Machado, I guess. And come on, uh, why the f hell do you bully me out of the way? Okay, I guess I take the op opportunity to go around the outside. Or maybe not. Try a bit carefully. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Alex. I really appreciate it. Oh, god damn it. I think I've murdered that trident right there. Um, sorry about that. But uh, say thank you to Alex Brundle who just bullied me out of the way. Perfect. And oh, why is everyone so slow into these corners, man? super weird sometimes AI is absolutely spot-on sometimes they're absolutely slouching all over the place okay uh, first lap done from 27 to 15 that's good 12th place is done and oh look at that run out of turn one now try, trying to make a move can we make it Ooh, locking up the brakes got a little bit wide I think that opens up the door yes yeah, serious the status GP car of Lewis Williamson and now he's coming aside he had a better run out of the previous corner but uh, gearing setting definitely an advantage for me here we're trying to break a little bit carefully whoa whoa the status GP cars even colliding man and thank you very much that's absolutely appreciated that was some late braking maneuver there holy cow have I ever seen one Okay, now trying to defend from John Vatik, the Belgian legend. Okay, or maybe not. He just sends it up the inside and actually makes it stick. Very, very in in interesting, impressive, I shall say, but uh, rather not. And uh, now, whoa! These status GP cars are super slow there. What the hell was going on? But uh, I guess I just have to take the opportunity. We run around the outside of Vatik and perfect. Here we go. Now Kevin Chakan up ahead. Uh, as we are at the fringes of tap 10 already we can see it up ahead Let's see if we can make it check in of course our teammate and then we have all our teammates cleared so that's basically a minimal goal already done but yeah nice let's see first corner is always a little bit tricky running a little bit wide but i think that's okay however let's see if i can give you a quick run through what's neat in this version of the mod the very new version of course just released today um, first of all, graphics do not look as bad as they are in this video. I had to reduce graphic settings quite a lot. Uh, also, we get good bump draft here as well as slipstream. 
Can we even make it three wide? We make it three wide actually. Uh, the Trident's trying to get into the mix as well. As we break a little bit earlier for the hairpin. Trying to avoid all these cars around. A little bit of... Uh, I was about to say door banging, but that's of course touring car terms. But hey, two positions made into one. Right, perfect. Absolutely on it. Now, these guys will definitely try to break later into... Whoa, even Chekons into the mix. Man, that was some late breaking, but uh, well done. Uh, Chekon, he made the move stick against the rival team. Now, trying to get into the top 10 right on the verges of it. As we can see, Daniel up just ahead of us in the motodrome. It is, it is called this section. And these guys are slowing each, uh, each other up very much. Um, trying to send it. Can we make it? No, no chance. Oh, a little bit of wheel banging going on. I was about, what I was about to say is that the graphics definitely look better in the, the mod version, of course. Had to turn it down because of my toaster. And now look at this run. This should bring us into the top 10. Already done. Way past Daniel Abt. And I'll break it a little bit earlier. Oh, still locking up. Oof. Again, small hit on the front wing. Perfect. Thank you very much, Mitch Evans, for slowing us down. And oh, nearly got forced off another Carlin. Uh, by another Carlin. And uh, now trying to make a move once again. Very well in the slipstream. And now. Oh, he's coming back. And oh, he's pushing us wide. Here we go. Lots of Arden I can see ahead. And a very slow Yenza car right there. Perfect, and that's makes, that makes it 8. Very well, nice, I, I take that. Would give us a single point in this fictional reverse grid race 2 race here at the beautiful Sunday morning in Hockenheim. In 2012, nearly fell, fell back into the clutch of David Fumanelli, it is ahead, and into German as well. As we can see, the arm bouncing around a bit. We're trying to send it, can I make it? Yes, or can I not? Okay, this is this is close. This is absolutely I'm, I'm sweating right here and all this wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing is absolutely amazing as I run a little bit wide That should open up the door for Fonelli again. He is hanging on around the outside. Can I make it stick this time by? Oh a little bit wide on that. It opens the door again for him. And, oh, come on man. Just let me go I'm, I'm in seventh anyway. It's just giving you position and you're good to go Then the is now with us once again as we go into the last lap once again over this tricky first corner and uh, yeah, that's it. Trying to hang on for seventh right now. And oh, massive lockup! Oh no, massive lockup! Oh, a little bit of sliding at the exit of turn two. Turn two is quite tricky, uh, I shall say. But now we're back into the slipstream of up, so we can perhaps pounce back into the hairpin. Let's see. Gaining, gaining, gaining. No, breaking earlier. Still not able to slow it down. Haven't figured out the braking yet quite, but uh, that, that works for now. We, we have closed up quite a lot. And Daniel up, make the switch back. Now trying to send, can I send it into the Mercedes Arena? No chance. Oh, man, that's another hit on the front wing. How is it still hanging on? Perhaps it has uh, steel end plates or something. I have no idea. But uh, very well, nice. So we can. Finally, give it a full go. Oof, trying to force him a little bit wide. Sorry, Daniel. And this case going around the outside. Can we make it stick? For now, yes. But once again, running wide. Same situation as the last lap. And up next, it's stick. Gonna send it again against him into this corner. Force him a little bit wide. Over the curb. And now, fully on the throttle. Here we go. Perfect. That made it stick. Here we go. Finished in 7th, that's exactly what I wanted, perfect. Okay, guys, I will link the mod, of course, in the description. Hope you all liked it, and see you all for, an hopefully, very soon next video.